Hey guys, it's Kelly. So today I'm going to be doing the sorting hat quiz. So lately everyone has been doing this quiz because they've been curious as to see what has changed on Pottermore just because there have been a lot of changes apparently. So I'm curious as to see if my house will change if I retake the sorting hat quiz again. Originally I got Gryffindor. I truly believe I am Gryffindor like through and through. Honestly, if I get any other house, I think I will just question my identity. Mainly if I get Hufflepuff, like no offense to Hufflepuff guys, like my best friend is Hufflepuff, my brother's Hufflepuff, I think the Hufflepuffs are like a great house. But personally, if I'm a Hufflepuff, I just, I don't know, I don't know what I'll do. Like that will be an identity crisis in the making right there and I don't need an identity crisis at age 17. Just saying. But. All the other houses I can see myself as, like Ravenclaw, I like to learn, right, Slytherin, I, I can be ambitious if I wanted to, but honestly, I think I really am Gryffindor. Like, when I was on Pottermore, like originally, it sorted me into Gryffindor, every test that I took has sorted me into Gryffindor, and I truly believe I am Gryffindor because, like, loyalty is very important to me, so I just, I just, I'm just really scared. <laughs> I'm really scared that I won't be Gryffindor and I'll be Hufflepuff just because Hufflepuff is like the complete opposite of like some traits that I value. Not really opposite, but like not prioritized traits. I'm sorry if you're Hufflepuff and you find this offensive. Honestly, no, no offense meaning, but like me as a Hufflepuff is just like not, not it, not it right now. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and start taking this quiz. So first, let's begin the experience. I don't need to read the house. Okay, forest or river? I'm gonna go with forest. Which of the following would you most like to study? Centaurs, goblins, merpeople, ghosts, vampires, werewolves, or trolls? I'm gonna go with centaurs. No, I don't know. I also really like werewolves. So I'm, I'm leaning towards the werewolves. I'm gonna click werewolves. How would you like to be known to history? The wise, the good, the great, the bold, the wise, the good, the great, the bold. Okay, I think I'm going to go with the bold. Which of the following do you find most difficult to deal with? Hunger, cold, loneliness, oh that would suck, boredom, being ignored. I think hunger, not a big deal. I think I can go through that. Cold would suck, but like I can get through that. Loneliness, I think I'm going to choose loneliness because that would be sad. Okay. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Oh, I already saw. There's like a bunch of cats. There's like a toad. I don't want cats. Okay. Um, so I'm going to pick an owl. What owl should I choose? Screech owl, brown owl, snowy owl, barn owl. Or com not a common toad. Not a toad. I think I'm going to go with a snowy owl. Sorry, I'm cliche like that. All right. Once every century, the flutterby bush produces flowers that adapt their scent to attract the unwary. If it lured you, it would smell of a crackling log fire, the sea, fresh parchment, home. Aw, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna choose home. That would be nice. Late at night, walking alone down the street, you hear a peculiar cry that you believe to have a magical source. Do you proceed with caution, keeping one hand on your concealed wand and an eye out for any disturbances? Draw your wand and try to discover the source of the noise. Draw your wand and stand your ground. Definitely not mentally reviewing the most appropriate defensive and offensive spells should trouble occur. Yeah, that's definitely not me. I don't have time for that. All right. <laughs> Um, I probably won't proceed with caution, let's be real. Probably draw my wand and discover the source of the noise. Heads or tails? What does this have to do with anything? I'm gonna choose heads. Yes! <laughs> I knew I was gonna be Gryffindor. Like, as I, as I started taking this quiz, I started to get more reassured that I was going to be Gryffindor. So, Gryffindor. Congratulations on being sorted into Gryffindor. Yeah, <sighs> that's right. I'm really, I'm really happy right now. Guys, I even wore my Gryffindor shirt. Welcome to House Gryffindor. 
Obviously, some of Gryffindor's most renowned members include Albus Dumbledore and Harry Potter. I like this welcome message. It says, congratulations, I'm Prefect Percy Weasley, and I'm delighted to welcome you to Gryffindor House. Nice. I think I think I'm happy. I'm I'm really happy right now, guys. I had a little bit moment of fear that I wasn't gonna be Gryffindor, but that has all passed because I have just confirmed that I am Gryffindor. That brings me brings me great joy. Alright, so I'm probably gonna finish this video and I'm going to play on Pottermore, because why not? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what house you are. If you're a Gryffindor like me, let's join the club. It will have a great time. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.